Hi everyone, hope you're all safe and well. Jason here, welcome to another video. Back out in the woods again today, just uh, had to get my outdoor fix. Plan on uh, a little treat for myself today, I'm going to cook up a bit of a bushcraft breakfast. So I'm just making my way out to my usual spot now. I'm not going to uh, bore you with uh, filming me processing all the wood and everything. I'll uh, get that all ready when I uh, get to my spot and then I'll uh, bring you back when I start cooking. Catch you in a bit guys. Right, so I've processed all my wood. Got my uh, thins, pencil size sticks and some larger stuff and some stuff I've battened down. Got the fire, fire laid done. I've uh, got quite a large tinder bundle. It's a mixture of uh, dry bracken and uh, some paper birch. Should take a spark and be enough to get the thins going. Now I've put a, a cheap 2x2 two two tarp up, uh, just in a, a diamond formation. Uh, it's been raining quite a lot the last couple of days. Not sure if it's going to rain later, but uh, I'm going to cook under the tarp anyway, just in case. Uh, so I'll get this lit, get the fire going. And uh, what I wanted to do was show you a uh, simple and easy adjustable pot hanger system that I've been using. I've used it in some of my uh, other videos. Uh, really easy to make, uh, really effective. So uh, we'll get the fire going first and I'll show you how we do that. Try to keep the fire nice and controlled, quite small means we're cooking under the tarp. You can hear the moisture start to hiss inside the, uh, the sticks. it is how long it's taken to catch I think I'll be all right with that well, I'll bring you back when it's uh, fully going while that's going I'll quickly run through the adjustable pot hanging system that I use I use this in other videos it's really easy and all you need is, uh, I use three pieces of hazel. Um, obviously it's okay to cop this if you do it responsibly and you can usually find some fairly straight pieces which is ideal for this. And all you need is those, a toggle for the adjustable pot hanging bit and some paracord. First off we're gonna take some paracord, and just do a quick lash around the top to make the tripod. So, about 18 inches or so should be enough. And all we're going to do is get these fairly close together, about, come down about four or five inches. 
just loop straight round and just do a simple overhand knot, not too tight because in the next stage we're going to uh, manipulate one of the legs which is going to add tension to the paracord and that will help it form the tripod. So I'll just show you that now. Right, what we're going to do now is just twist the legs, one of the legs, just to add some tension. There we go. That's the tripod bit done. Next we'll do the uh, adjustable pot hanger. Right, for the second part of this system we're going to need a toggle and a length of paracord, around about three, three and a half foot. The first thing we're going to do is put an end of the line bow line in. So we're just going to make a small loop through, behind, and then back through. Loop only needs to be big enough just to hang over one of the, uh, the tops of the tripod. The second part we're going to do is just put a stop knot in the end. Just a simple stop knot like that. That'll do. I'm going to take our toggle. Just going to put a, a bite in the paracord, and then we're going to pass everything through. So we're going to make a locking lark's head, just to hold the toggle in place. And we can just cinch that down a bit. Just make sure that's not going anywhere. Now I use um, fish mad spreader for my Pathfinder mug uh, and that'll work great as well with your steel bottles if you want to boil water with your steel bottles. Let's um, just quickly demo how that works. I mainly use this system uh, with my Pathfinder mug and use the fish spreader and um, basically all we need to do now is attach our loop over the top of the tripod, run the toggle through your uh, pot hanger fish spreader. You could obviously use this as well uh, with anything with a bale handle, say like it works well for your zebra billy cans or you could upscale if you want to use uh, a Dutch oven. Uh, but I mainly use it for the um, pathfinder mug but you could do the same as well with your steel bottles and all it is just a case of hooking through and then with your toggle we'll line it up just put a loop over and suspend your uh, your mug to adjust it just it pull up that'll higher it and then just the opposite, just pull down if you want to drop it right down onto the, the coals. But it's a really easy system to use, let's say just a couple of sticks. I use hazel, toggle, and some paracord. And you've got yourself a complete adjustable pot hanging system. Right, I'll put this over the fire now. So you can use the tripod to get it exactly over the best part of the fire that you want. Just lower that down. And just leave that to boil. Ready for a brew. Water's boiling now, so the easiest thing to do is just simply lift it off the tripod, put it to one side, and then you can uh, make your brew. Happy days! Get a glove to get that off.
time to get food on. I'm absolutely starving. Good job it's an all day breakfast. Get the sausages on first. And I'll chop the mushrooms, put the black pudding in, get the bacon going, and do the eggs last. Oh, give me a glass. Right, just going to quickly poach my egg and it should all be done. Oh, yes. This will only need about a minute.
I've overdone my egg a bit, but I'm still going to enjoy it. So I'm going to eat this and then uh, I'll quickly sign off. I was ready for this. Like dinner come tea, a bit of Cumberland sausage. Mm. Right, before I finish this guys, I'm going to sign off here. Nights are starting to draw in now as the clocks have gone back. But it's been, uh, it's been a really good day. Um, next video, I'm hoping, restrictions permitting, to have a trip up to the peak, something different, mix it up a bit. Um, and also go into, I'm going to try the eastern uh, moors of the, the Peak District, a uh, place I've drove through many a times, but never really had a chance to spend much time there. So hopefully um, we'll get a chance to go there. Not sure whether it's going to be an overnighter yet. Uh, like I say, we'll just uh, see how the restrictions go, but fingers crossed. Also, uh, just wanted to say a quick thank you as well to everybody that subbed, commented. Um, your support has been absolutely amazing. So thank you all for that, guys. And one guy in particular, uh, Mike, also known as the uh, Cheshire Wanderer, Cheers, Mike. You've been really uh, supportive. Um, loads of encouragement. Um, give me a shout out. So uh, really appreciate that. Go and check him out, aka the Cheshire Wanderer. I'll see if I can suss out how to do the links. I'm not sure, mate. I'm still all new to this. Uh, but yeah, brilliant channel, brilliant guy, excellent content. Uh, so go and check him out. So I'm going to finish me uh, me brunch tea, and uh, then I'm going to pack up, clear up the uh, the fire and everything, and uh, start to head home. But thanks again for joining me guys, uh, take care, stay safe and hopefully I'll see you in the peaks.